Picture this. Your management team just walked in. They just came back from a conference, and they looked at you and said, why aren't we using this OpenStack thing? It's the greatest thing since sliced bread. And you have that small moment of panic. It's not a big deal, but all of a sudden you realize you might not have the infrastructure that you need, or maybe you don't have the solution you're looking for in-house to really deploy OpenStack today. Plus, some say it's pretty complicated. So we want to help with that. Let's take the next five, seven minutes or so and figure out how we're going to make this easier for you. The first thing we need to realize is OpenStack isn't a new project. This has been around since 2010 with the first release, Austin. It's followed multiple releases since then, and actually, we're going down to Austin, Texas for the 14th release announcement, which will be called Newton, named after the Newton House in Austin, an architectural gem. The one that's currently available, though, the 13th release, is Metaka. That one was announced six months ago in Tokyo and is a small town outside of Tokyo. Every six months, the OpenStack Foundation releases a new version. So you're getting a lot of upgrades along the way. But what does that really mean? Well, the first thing you want to look at is that OpenStack has six core services that are utilized within it. Coming from a storage company, we have a few that we work with more than others. Those being Swift, Cinder, and Glance. When you look at those three, really Swift and Cinder tend to work together. Swift giving you some of your image storage and your file storage on object-based platforms where Cinder keeps most of your virtual machines. That's going to normally traditionally run on some sort of block or even potentially NFS storage. The other part of that that I'm showing for those core services you'll notice is Glance. Glance is traditionally an NFS storage and is used for image repositories primarily. But just those six things are not all you need for OpenStack. You've got to look at things like these add-ons, like Manila. Manila is really for shared file services. So picture it as the Dropbox for OpenStack. It's going to give you what you need for file systems, and you need to have a file storage system in the back end, something primarily NFS-based. You can't just use those things, though. You've got to be able to manage it, and that's where the Horizon dashboard comes in. The Horizon dashboard has integration with all of the different core components and allows you to manage them. And there's plugins for them, all depending upon your vendor. That doesn't work, however, without some identity management, and that's done with Keystone. So that's the first thing people are often going to want to know, is do you have Keystone integration as well? So now if I have Swift and Cinder and Glance, even adding in Manila, now if I want to go one step further, I could even add in Nova, all of the compute, to have a hyper-converged platform. These options are available today, but it seems like a lot. It's not really that much, and we're going to get into why. Before we really start digging into the integration with OpenStack, let's look at the Nexenta portfolio and the few pieces that really matter. The first part we're going to look at is the first pillar product we have, our Nexenta store product. Nexenta Store is a scale-up, unified file and block solution that's going to utilize commodity hardware to be able to give you the latest and greatest in enterprise class performance. When you're looking from the file side, you can utilize 1 or 10 gig connections, whatever the latest is, to utilize NFS and SMB. Combine that with utilizing that same network for 10 gig iSCSI, or maybe you want 8 or 16 gig fiber channel, it's all available on a single platform. Now this platform is going to give you that enterprise capability that you're looking for for snapshots and clones, unlimited for our file system in the way that we use it, as well as having active-active clusters and replication that you might need. All of that wrapped into integration with OpenStack that we'll get to in a moment. But before we do that, we've got one more pillar product to talk about. That's an to Edge. Now that second pillar product, our Nexenta Edge solution, is purpose-built to run for OpenStack, giving you block and object storage, so Cinder access, as well as Swift and S3 for your storage protocols, utilizing a scale-out solution, again, on commodity hardware. Now it really wraps in the Nexenta DNA. We look at data integrity end-to-end -end 
with checksums and being able to do replication, being able to do clones and snapshots as a core component of an enterprise storage system. That's what we built into the Nexenta Edge portfolio. And with that product, we're able to give you high performance for block and object. At the same time, optimizing that performance by giving a lot of changes in the network and optimizing the way that the network is utilized. A big downfall in many of the scale out solutions today. Now it's not just those components. You add in those, but also there's things like inline dedupe, inline compression, that we're gonna give you to minimize the amount of storage needed. While giving you sometimes two to four X better performance than what you're looking at on alternative solutions with a lot less latency as well. You combine that with the ability to have not only Glance and Cinder, but also a horizon management and manage everything from your virtual machines to your storage, all within that single OpenStack console. Something else to make your life just a little bit easier. Now, you know what the base products are, but how do they work with OpenStack? Now, Nexenta Store was the first commercially available, commercially supported open source based product on the market to have a Cinder driver. We've been doing that since 2012. So we've really been involved with the OpenStack system since very early days. We've continued with a continuous integration lab for both Nexenta Store and Edge to keep us up to date with all the latest releases, including that latest Metaka release. Now with Nexenta Store, you can utilize NFS for Glance, you can use NFS or iSCSI for Cinder. Now we can also do the same thing with Nexenta Edge, adding in network block devices, adding in capability for Swift, the Horizon plugin, as well as Keystone integration. Now all that integration is fine if you're just looking at storage, but we wanted to make your life easier. So we've worked with some of our close partners with Canonical as well as Mirantis that deliver some of the best OpenStack platforms around. And we found ways to add into that. But adding into that environment doesn't do any good if you can't get the documentation. And being involved with the OpenStack project so long, we make a point of making sure that everything is out on openstack.org to be able to look at all the Cinder releases, anything we do with Swift, and all of the documentation that revolves around Nexenta Store and Nexenta Edge for OpenStack. Now let's get to how we're making that easier for you. So Canonical has a product called Juju. If you're not familiar with Juju, it essentially is a modeling framework that allows you to deploy OpenStack in a much easier way. You utilize the Ubuntu operating system right out of Canonical, it recognizes those with the management, and then you drag and drop services right onto what you want to use. So you're now able to not only deploy those OpenStack services, but also Nexenta Edge clusters, adding nodes, configuring nodes, even configuring the services all within the Juju management. And all you have to do to get that is go ahead and deploy the management side from Canonical and get the Juju Charm that we have out on their Juju Charm store. But they're not the only player in town. We also work with Mirantis. Mirantis has a similar concept with their fuel system. Now fuel allows us to also have a framework to deploy easier and we fully support working fuel with an to edge as well. Now, We've already done quite a bit of work here, but we don't want you to just take our word for it. We have service providers around the globe that have been currently and using not just OpenStack, but deploying it and using it for their customers, from GoDaddy to Korea Telecom to even GMO Internet that you might have seen in Tokyo at a keynote for the OpenStack solution. But it's not just service providers. Enterprises are stepping up to the plate also. And companies like Hyundai with their connected car cloud are deploying OpenStack and utilizing the power of Nexenta in the back end. So just remember as you're looking at it, that when that executive comes into you and says, I need you to look at OpenStack, you have a solution available that takes care of vendor lock-in, utilizes reference architectures, and all the main server vendors as options for you to have your choice of hardware. You've got one that can utilize both file, block, and object to hit a broad range of different protocols and blend right into your environment. And you get all of the benefit of the OpenStack ecosystem and the partners that we have as well. 
So when your executive team asks you about OpenStack, just picture Nixenta. Mm-hmm.